Graves disease or, diffuse toxic goiter. Definition. Graves disease is the most common cause of endogenous hyperthyroidism. Graves reported in 1835 his observations of a disease characterized by violent and long-continued palpitations in females associated with enlargement of the thyroid gland. The disease is characterized by a triad of clinical findings. Hyperthyroidism associated with diffuse enlargement of the gland. Infiltrative ophthalmopathy with resultant exophthalmus. Localized, infiltrative dermopathy, sometimes called pretibial myxedema, which is present in a minority of patients. The disease is more frequent between the age of 30 and 40 years, and has five-fold increased prevalence among pathogenesis. Graves' disease is an autoimmune disease and, as already stated, there are many immunologic similarities between this condition and Hashimoto's thyroiditis. These are as follows. 1. Genetic factor association, like in Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Graves' disease too has genetic predisposition. A familial occurrence has been observed. Susceptibility to develop Graves' disease has been found associated with HLADR3. Hashimoto's thyroiditis has both HLADR3 and HLADR5 association. 2. Autoimmune disease association. Graves' disease may be found in association with other organ specific autoimmune diseases. Hashimoto's thyroiditis and Graves' disease are frequently present in the same families and the two diseases may coexist in the same patient. 3. Other factors. Besides these two factors, Graves' disease has higher prevalence in women, 7 to 10 times, and association with emotional stress and smoking. 4. Autoantibodies. Autoantibodies against thyroid antigens are detectable in the serum of these patients too but their sites of action are different from that of Hashimoto's thyroiditis. In Graves' disease, TSH receptor autoantigen is the main antigen against which autoantibodies are directed. These are as under I, thyroid stimulating immunoglobulin, TSI. It binds to TSH receptor and stimulates increased release of thyroid hormone. 2. Thyroid growth stimulating immunoglobulins, TGI. It stimulates proliferation of follicular epithelium. 3. TSH binding inhibitor immunoglobulins, TBII. It is inhibitory to binding of TSH to its own receptor, depending upon its action as inhibitory or stimulatory to follicular epithelium, it may result in alternate episodes of hypo and hyperthyroidism. The pathogenesis of Graves' infiltrative ophthalmopathy is also of autoimmune origin. The evidence in support is the intense lymphocytic infiltrate around the ocular muscles and detection of circulating autoantibodies against muscle antigen that cross-react with thyroid microsomes. Morphologic features Histologically, the following features are found. 1. There is considerable epithelial hyperplasia and hypertrophy as seen by increased height of the follicular lining cells and formation of papillary. Enfolding of piled up epithelium into the lumina of follicles which are small. 2. The colloid is markedly diminished and is lightly staining, watery and finely vacuolated. 3. The stroma shows increased vascularity and Accumulation of lymphoid cells. Clinical features. Graves' disease generally develops slowly and insidiously. Patients are usually young women who present with symmetric, moderate enlargement of the thyroid gland with features of thyrotoxicosis like one hand tremor to nervousness, three heat intolerance, with features of ophthalmopathy and dermatopathy. Ocular abnormalities are lid lag, upper lid retraction, stare. Weakness of eye muscles and proptosis. In extreme cases, the lids can no longer close and may produce corneal injuries and ulcerations. Dermatopathy in Graves' disease most often consists of pretibial, localized, myxedema, in the form of firm plaques. Like in Hashimoto's thyroiditis, there is no increased risk of development of thyroid cancer in Graves' disease.